Hello everyone, welcome back to Studio Lou, um, to my relatively crowded little area today. I've got all sorts of supplies for today. So we are on day 10 and our prompt is layered. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to start our day off with tea from the tea, the tea calendar. We are on day number seven of our tea calendar and let's see what this is going to bring us. Oh, it's calming chamomile. I totally enjoy that. <laughs> That's a good thing today. <clears throat> I'm hoping my day is calm because yesterday was like a bit the opposite of calm and I'm really good with calm. I'm here with my big hug mug today. Um, <laughs> I've had that mug for such a long time and it's funny because when I started my current job, my, my boss when I first started my job had the exact same mug and I was like okay we are destined to be friends because yeah okay so all those lovely little flowers in there from the chamomile and we will pour I won't steam you up today I'm sure you want your hair to stay beautiful so I won't steam you all up um but we have tea maybe I steamed up a little bit okay so I'm just going to let that brew off to the side and we will jump into this project. I also am going to be getting my um, <clears throat> fabric ready for my weekly stitching project that I'm doing. Um, so I will talk to you about that in a minute after I put the kettle away. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of supplies for today um, layered. So I have here some of my hand-dyed fleece um, from a lovely sheep um, from a friend's farm and it is kind of felted by intention because I was making a uh, little mossy bits um, with it so I'm hoping I can find some use for that I have an idea for today and then I have this string of or not string but I guess bunch of silk flowers <clears throat> so I'm gonna set that aside we'll get to that part a little later I then have this fabric which is really beautiful and nice and hardy, as well as all of these strips of fabric that are flannel and they're also very nice and hardy and I love these patterns. So today's project is kind of using the theme of the digital collection of chestnut dolls that I released yesterday. Um, <clears throat> so I'll show them to you and then I will take a moment because I need to fussy cut them. So there are 13 of them all together and they're all these little kind of chestnut themed girls. And um, what inspired me is I wanted to design a couple chestnut girls for a book I'll be starting soon called Opening a Chestnut Burr. Um, so that's those. <clears throat> so the collection is called Chestnut Queens and Dolls because there's some queens in here too. Um, so this is the, um, the next three next three one of the queens and then the other two queens are here at the back so that's the full paper doll collection then I have um, some papers here in these brown and wood and a sparkly copper and this kind of sparkly red and gold those are the papers that I want to use and I'm going to just take a moment now and I will fussy cut these out and I'll ba be back in like a second for you. Okay, so these are all cut out and ready to go. So now I think I will pull out Old Faithful here, my glue book, because I'm going to use that as the base for what I want to make today. How many of these am I going to make? Um, let's say two, four, six, eight, mm, nine, 10, 11, let's do a dozen. Let's try to do a dozen because we have 13 dolls. I mean, we could do 13. Um, I'm being so productive. I don't even know what to do with myself there. Okay. <laughs> but I have a plan. So what, what is all of this about is probably what you're wondering, right? I'm taking on this mental journey here. Um, so we'll start with our tag base, which will be this. then get these papers out of here because they're for a little bit later so where can I shove them over here okay so now let's cover this in 
glue. Probably should do this on my glue book, hence the whole purpose of a glue book. Okay, then we'll start grabbing this fabric here. These yummy, yummy fabrics. Okay, so I want that little, I don't want the Marcus Brothers textiles on there, although we may not end up seeing it by the time I get done with my layers. I think these are going to turn out so fun. I'm pretty excited about them. Okay. That's that. Put all these little scraps in my scrap bag. Now, I think I probably need to begin by... Like, we're going to have to back these to get some stiffness because I need a stiffer surface that I can work on. Because fabric is involved, so we will go around here. Just do a little X with the glue because there's going to be stitching involved on this, definitely. Um, oh, and you know what? I think I need to... I need to cut this away because I need the overall actual shape of the tag. Um, I was cutting this fabric off. Sorry if I'm a little out of focus for a second here. Okay. I'll just tack that on there. I think we'll have a relaxing, nice, kind of longer make video today. Okay. Right. That's that. Now, set this aside, and I actually will need now um, one of my papers. Here they are. And I need a piece that is the same size. Give me just one moment, I need to get a shape. So by shape, I mean I need this. I'm gonna use this as the shape that I want, this kind of eggy shape. You could also use an oval. If you have a die cut that you can cut this from, by all means. Now, I'm gonna get um, my trimmer. I need to even up this. My cut was not perfect here. I need it to be a little neater. Yeah, it's a little wonky. Let's cut that off. That looks better. Okay. Move our doll out of the way. So now we just kind of want to center this roughly like so. around in a circle there we go if you had a die cut did I say that already use your die cut for sure to cut an oval or whatever shape you want you could do like a tag shape this will all make sense to you once I get through the project probably a little bit better I'm just gonna cut um in the middle I know that wastes like the paper here but I'm not too concerned about it at the moment Okay. Set those back there. All good. Now, what am I trying to do here? I am trying to get this to be like a frame. Then I need my girl. I can use her. 
And I'll probably do a bit of inking. Yeah, so today is just like a crack down busy day for me because I have a lot to do, but I wanted to just get this video done before I went um, into too much of my day. It's still kind of before work hours, but I just, I know I have a lot to do today. So I want to put her in there like so. I need my glue. And I might go get my other bottle because I've decided I'm really tired of this bottle of glue. This whatever sugar bell bottle with Fabri-Tac. It's just a recipe for annoyance. Let me grab my glue. I'm going to let it sit upside down for a little bit and see if that bubble stops being annoying, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to go with this one because this one is going to do what I need it to do, which is give me some glue novel idea for a glue bottle although in fairness those are not glue bottles they are frosting bottles okay so now we'll put her on here and i don't know if i'll use the egg shape for all of them but i want to use it for this first one just because it's what i had in my in my brain initially um when i thought about these tags so now I need to figure out, is that too small? I think it is. I want to go a little bit bigger. So we're going to cut another um, like a quarter inch maybe around and we're just going to freehand. Just want like a little more space. And see a little more of the fabric too that's good yeah perfecto now i also want to put um some other things in here with her but i think first i'm going to trim this down a little I'll try to um <laughs> i'm going to put a little bit of glue between the fabric down here one just a little just to tack down the bottom of the the upper paper this topper here this top layer get it situated how I want it but I don't want to glue the whole thing down so now we can cut this properly and then cut it into a tag keep them all nice together then side one and side two. Okay. Now let's say goodbye to all the little scrap that's out of my way here. Now I want to work with my space that I have here. So you know how I have these little flowers and things. I said I have some wool. Got these little Kind of tendrils of wool I want to put in here tuck it under okay so it'll be like little tendrils of wool sheepy locks here like so and perhaps a flower under here now what I need to do is I need to probably just stitch um, I'm not gonna bother gluing there's just no need to really worry about it because I really need stitching so I'm going to go around this circle and then around the whole tag with glue I will be back in a minute okay so this has been stitched around here stitched around here and what I did was I took the same background fabric and one of the little flowers and added it up here as a tab so we have our wool and our flower stitched right into that background I also put packaging paper on the back um, because I wanted to cover those stitches so then 
again continuing on with the layering I want to add something kind of here so I have this minty greenery um, book you know you could obviously use um, lots of different things for this you could use paper you can use the hold on I may actually even do this on some of them um, so on this same strand we have these green leaves and when you're stitching you could actually stitch that on the outside maybe we'll do that with the next one but let's do one with some paper okay um let me see if i like these yeah let's go with these leaves where are my scissors whoops these ones so let's go with a couple of leaves i would say maybe go three and we'll get a brown one and then two of those variegated leaves um because they're really cool i love the minte flora book and those like little fussy cut books they're really cute i like using them Obviously, you can also cut this from like a book, like a vintage, you know, botanical illustration or a digital kit or um, a field guide. Just anywhere you can find a leaf. You could also use real little dried leaves if you wanted to, as we did with foliage yesterday. Then where I'm going to cluster these is just kind of right over here uh, where I started the stitching. So this one will go this way maybe this one will go this way and that one like that yeah let's let's do that okay so we need to glue these down start with this one okay, and then this one and that will allow us to kind of have a nice um, outer kind of frame before we lay down the last one to know how we want it to lie down because I want it to be like in the middle and be framed by those variegated leaves so right like that I think is what I'm looking for snip off the excess because that goes off the tag Put a little bit of ink then I might actually also, you know, because we don't have enough layers. Um, okay, just some simple words. There, the underbrush grew so thickly. And, you know, I'm all about using book spine for things. And that's another nice little layer I can apply. So maybe we'll do it on here. Um, we'll cut this to a bit I'll just glue that on make it a little independent of the words they'll be over it but they won't necessarily all be seated on it in a specific way I might even do this with it because it's just cool texture and then the words And I think on that brown that they stand up quite well on their own anyways. Okay. So just a little bit of a nature-y kind of saying. And there we go. We have a really fun layered tag. I'm happy with these. So I think I will go ahead and move on to the next one. Um... I need also, maybe I'll set this fabric aside and we'll use the bits for now. So let's just get rid of any little scraps here that I don't need. And then put my glue pin over there. I need another piece of paper. And I just make the sizes very random. Whatever I've torn, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, so there's this. And then 
I need this again because we need the same size piece of paper. use that same shape again. That may be what I end up using for all of them. I, I quite like it. I gotta say. So plunk this on here. are becoming a little bit bananas oh and I wanted to see if that glue bottle is going to do us the the service that it should by of working <laughs> got it kind of standing in a weird spot over here there we go um paper scissors <sighs> how do you lose paper scissors like what is wrong with me not too much too much too much they're not under the flowers <laughs> I have other papers as well. Here they are. That's weird. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so I just want to grab my little... I have this little tote. It's actually a little big tote, but it's not huge. And it's totally full of, like, different kinds of little flowers and things. Leaves and flowers. So I thought instead of using the same stem in all these, we can, you know, mix it up a bit and not be so boring. Um... So let me just find what would be fun on here. I think I want something yellow, maybe. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at this. That's fun. I wonder if I can separate the green thingy from that. Probably. Just cut this off and kind of give it a, a turn. Out of there. Oh, the tedious things I do. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so we will stick our little bit of woolly woolies in here. That's fun. And then with these, I'm just going to cut this little circle apart so that I can kind of layer them up how I want to rather than how they're shoved in there okay oh, that's fine and like that will kind of come out a little bit which is cute so then I think I'm gonna go and stitch the circle then I will cut this out cut it into a tag and um, probably come back at that point when I'm stitching it this time I'm gonna stitch maybe one of those on the outside as well I think that would be fun um, Hold on. I have more different kinds of leaves. So I might actually do a couple. Just overlap a couple like that. So when we stitch that on there, the whole thing will be, you know, a cluster like that. So I'll do that and come back. Okay, so I stitched around here and I figured before carrying on, um, I'll just show you this step because I didn't show you the last time um, what I did at this step. So you turn around here. And then what this will do is um, it'll allow me to get it into a tag shape and back it. And some backing paper. This is kind of a nice scrap. I might use that for the backing because it's journalable, right? So see all that stitching there? I want to hide that. So we'll go in and just hit that with a little glue stick. 
And then I'll take the top half of this. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, Lord. I, oh, God. We're not using that anymore. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little distracted today with 80 million things on the go? Yeah, that's me. Okay, let's try again, but with packaging paper. Okay. I actually want to use the packaging paper anyhow, so I think it goes more with this. So I'm not going to be upset about it. Okay, so these are stitched on. Then we'll go around and get rid of the excess packaging paper. Oops, let's move that little leaf out of the way here. So we have really, really high winds today. It's honestly a little scary how windy it is out there. So, I can cut this into a tag. Get that flower out of here. And I'm going to use the excess. I have more of this over at the sewing machine, this excess fabric, to create this with a little more like of a yellow flower up here. So that'll be one element of this. Um, but I think we can go ahead and do a little collaging here too, before I go ahead and, um, stitch. So we've got some, we've got some leaves already. Um, well, this is nice. Even when a bird walks, when feels it has wings. Let's use that. It's a really nice little quote by Antoine Marin Lemire. Okay, so where's my glue? Right here. Get that glued, and then I need something I want to put it on top of. I'm going to go with bookspine again because it's handy right here and I have a little stack of things in the way um, on top of my scrap bin which would be my other go-to place to grab things. So we'll layer that and we'll layer this. Let's give it a little press for a moment there. We're going to ink. Don't want that to be too white. Alrighty, so now it's time to go to the sewing machine and do the stitching, add the top tab. And um, after I do that, I think what I'll also do, just to kind of save time in the video, you know, because you've seen the process. So let me go and get the other ones all cut and then when we're at like the last embellishment stage we can do that together so it's like easy and fun um so yeah i will see you soon okay so my day is not going how i'd hoped and it's a little bit more bananas so i'm not gonna have time to keep making here at my desk because i have some things to do but i did make a couple things that i'll show you what i'll probably do is just leave this mess out make a few more things because i love these and then i will put them up on instagram for you to take a look um but you saw all the fundamentals of how they were made right so it's not rocket science it's just some fun layering so um we will review here so i've, I've cut out you know I have all these dolls to work with so um this was the first one that we made I really like how she looks and then the second one I also quite like her and then I just made these two um so this first one says what joy awaits you when the breeze hath found you out among the trees and calls you forth again and I will just ink that label now that it's dry I glued that paper onto that fabric um and then I added a couple little bits here and there. With this one, I added some um, ribbon and little petals. This was actually part of a flower, it's tulle. And then I used, again, wool and um, some little silk leaves there. So it's quite cute. And then this one I think is my favorite because of this beautiful copper paper. So I used some of the nice um, kind of patina colored uh, 
fleece behind, or flannel behind there. This one I didn't use wool on. I used a little bit of a, a little tealy colored flower or, or aqua blue colored flower. And then this little piece of vintage lace. And then I added some collaging and a little label down here. So yeah, I'm quite happy with these. I think they're very cute. I will try making a few more of them. And either way, I will pop some uh, photos on Instagram over the next, probably today, hopefully, um, but it may be tomorrow. So until next time, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.